And we're back. YouTube, thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate that. Next up is my review of Leisure Solari, Wet Dreams Don't Dry. This is a German-made point-and-click adventure game from 2018, centering around everybody's favorite sex-obsessed middle-aged nerd Larry Laffer. Oh yes, if you don't know, during the late 80s and the 90s of the last century, legendary game developer L. Lowe working for Shara Online at the time, created a bunch of Larry games. And I enjoyed those quite a bit in my youth. These are humorous adult adventure games. Larry Laffer is L. Lowe's sort of alter ego in ways. But when Shara Online went under, the license was lost. I think it's now owned by... I think it was Codemasters, I'm not 100% sure, since the sort of the, the back catalog of the Sierra Online uh, developer was sort of divided between Codemasters and Activision, where the Space Quest and the King's Quest games are, I, uh, something like this. But it, it was out of the hands of L. Lowe, he, he did not have any involvement uh, anymore with the Larry games. Until 2013, L. Lowe did return for a decent remake in 2013 of the first game called Reloaded, but after some questionable behavior by the CEO of uh, that company, uh, LLO returned to retirement. After this, a string of really bad Larry games was released. So I was really skeptical about Wet Dreams Don't Dry. I mean, Wet Dreams Don't Dry, come on, that title is just awful. But I'm glad that I played the game and I completed it and I'm happy to report that this game does pay homage to the old Larry games and it's quite a good game, quite a good adventure game in its own right. The graphic style is pretty seedy but also very colorful, it really suits the thematic of <laughs> this uh, game. And it's just fun to look at. I mean, I, I enjoy games that are colorful. And I just enjoy this art style. I just wish there were a little bit more animations in the graphics because things are pretty stiff, pun intended, overall in this game. The voice acting is really good. Some very distinctive voices were used and uh, were very well recorded. What is this place? Hello, welcome to the Salon de Lazard. The most individual, underground, hip, and veganist bar in town. Here, you can get anything you want. And it's all gluten-free. Gluten? Just what is that supposed to be? Hey, also, every screen has a different oh, laid-back oh, musical oh, lounge oh, theme to accompany it. So overall, this game has quite good production values. Surprisingly, the story was okay too. Larry Leffer is basically fast forwarded from 1987 to the 21st century. So many of the jokes in the early game center around this culture shock that Larry experiences. And the game makes fun here of all kinds of modern things like mobile phones and social media and tinder uber hipsters and all that and the game has you visiting a nice variety of locations even some that fans of the old games will recognize so there's a bunch of fan service here and yeah i think that's that shows that the developer knows what to do they have to work hard and make sure the old fans are satisfied with this mm, satisfied mm, pun intended again with this game as well as try and reach out to a new audience and i think the developer accomplishes that with this game you talk to a uh, fun cast of characters in this game mostly women who larry will hit on of course cracking sexual jokes constantly some might consider this game sexist since Larry seems to see women purely as sex objects. But as L. Lowe has stated in various interviews, in Larry games the women always win, as Larry will constantly do their bidding and you will love him for doing that. Larry is a lovable character in 
his core. He's a good guy. The game does nail that. And most characters want something from Larry. They want some item or they want you to do something. This also means there's quite a lot of going back and forth between locations and vice versa, which gets a bit tedious since there aren't a whole lot of different locations to visit. Also, you need to pick up items in the environments and good lord there is no pixel hunting in this game just press the middle mouse button and on the screen the objects sort of are, are pointed out things you might interact with or pick up and the game doesn't shower you with a whole bunch of items uh, so it's manageable the inventory uh, mainly Using items, combining items, that sort of thing. It's the classic adventure game gameplay here. And some of these combinations, well, most of them work, but some don't really make a lot of sense, which had me randomly combining items in the inventory to see if, you know, some might work together. And once that happened, I could figure out what to do next. Also, you can run into a puzzle early on in the game that can only be solved later on, but you don't know that when you're playing the game. So there's quite a bit of time wasted as you try to figure out, you know, how to solve that puzzle, which you can't, at least not yet. So that's a bit of a bummer. Well, I guess that thing sort of comes with a territory as well. Again, it's a point-and-click adventure game, and sometimes you just have to move on and see if there's another puzzle you can uh, continue the game with i guess and that's another one, to summarize this it's probably not everybody's oh, taste but there's no denying that larry is a unique about? character larry, in gaming and this game really makes happen. use of that it's a generous game that took is me around true? 11 hours to complete including the free epilogue dlc that was released later on this game does not take itself seriously and the humor really does pay homage to the source material fairly well. So I think that Al Lowe can rest assured that Larry is in good hands with this developer. So even with its shortcomings, I did enjoy this game and the jokes. And the sequel will come out this October. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully the developer can make the game look more alive somehow with adding more animations and add more locations for Larry uh, to visit. So yeah, I really enjoyed this game. I can recommend the game for new players, new players who want to check out the point and click genre. I, I think it's a very good starting point. It's not too complicated. And for returning players like me, who've played the old games, it's really fun. It's it's really a fun game, and it's a Larry game that does not suck. Uh, pun intended again. But anyway, it's it's just fun. You know, it's a it's a really nice return to the Larry games that I I know and I love. That's it for me. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next video.